Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. Uh, in today's video, uh, this is Tithi here and I'm going to tell you about some latest trends in CSIR net life science exam. Now, what do we mean by latest trends? So, here we are going to talk about some of the things which has uh, been changed in last uh, uh, 10 years in the CSIR paper pattern or the topics that are asked and the different things which has changed, okay? So, all of that I'm going to cover in today's video right now. So, stay till uh, the end with me. So, the very first trend that has happened now is the exam format. Okay, so previously, as you all know, the exam format was paper based, pen and paper based, and then you had to mark the questions in the uh, in the in the in the uh, in the in the sheet, and uh, that is how the marking used to happen. Pen and paper mode was there, but since pandemic, that pen and paper mode has been changed into computer based test or CBT. So now CSIR net uh, exam is completely computer based. So, where basically you have to go to a center where you will be given uh, systems like this in which uh, the paper will come, the questions will come and you have to mark the answer here itself. Okay. Now, definitely uh, many students get confused how to take the paper and what will be the confusion, whether you will be able to scroll between the questions or not. So, all of that functions are there. All of those facilities will be there. You'll be able to scroll between the questions. If you mark, flag some question and come back and revisit them, that also you can do. And along with that, uh, some of the centers, I, I don't think all, but yes, some of the centers also give you a, a chance to have a practice, okay, before the exam. So, before the exam, if you have chosen uh, the, the, the center, okay, so some of the centers have the facility where you can go and take a trial run okay just to get used to the system that is there and there are uh, hundreds of exam centers which are uh, which which perform uh, where you can take the exam so you can uh, like when you when you are applying for the exam you can uh, choose the center depending on how close or uh, it is from your place the second trend which has uh, happened in the exam format is the double paper system. So, earlier there used to be a single paper only. Yeah, diff different sets of paper were happening, but it was happening at the same time. At the same time, the paper was there, right? 11, I think 9 to 12 was the timing. But now, since this CBT has been introduced, now it is double paper system. So, at least for life science, not for other subjects, but CSIR net life science, because the number of applicants are more here, the paper is conducted into two time slots, morning shift, which is from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. and evening shift, which will be from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Now, again, this slot you can choose when, when you are applying, when, when you are filling your applications at that time only, you can choose the preferred slot. Coming to trend number two. Marks evolution, uh, evaluation, sorry. Now, as you all know, earlier the marks were evaluated as the net score and it was given as percentage, right? But now what has happened because of introducing this double paper mode to take away any unwanted advantage, right? It might happen although the, uh, although the difficulty level of both the papers, like both the shift papers will be kept almost similar, but it might happen that there is little difference, okay? In that case, it, uh, some students might complain that they, they, their session paper was difficult or the other session paper was easier, okay? Now, to take away that advantage, instead of the percentage, the percentile uh, system has been introduced where whatever is your net score that will be normalized, okay? Now, normalization is a scientific method to make sure that it is, um, it, it is uniformly calculated, okay? So, NDA um, uh, uh, uses normalization procedure based on percentile score. So, percentile scores are the scores based on relative performance of all candidates who appeared in the CSIR net examination in that particular session. Okay, so basically if you get a, so a percentile score calculation indicates percentage of candidates that have scored either equal to or below that particular percentile in the examination. So in case you get a, you get 99 percentile, 
okay so what does that mean that 99% of the applicants who appeared in the exam have either got the same mark that you have got or have got a mark which is lesser than that okay so that is what is the uh, uh, percentile mean and it will be a relative performance so in that case what will happen that in every session the maximum mark or the highest mark scored will be 100 okay so 100 percentile means 100 percent of the students who appeared in the exam have either the have same score or below than what you are so, uh, so that takes away any kind of advantage or disadvantage that you might feel like based on the paper that was given. So CSI net percentile score I calculated up to seven decimal places to avoid ties among the candidates. Now this has created many confusions also for, among the students because earlier uh, to, like uh, the, the, the cutoff used to come in percentage. So it was easier to determine or you, you, you have to, you, you should know, like it was easier to know like how, what should be your target and how much percentage you have to score, right? Out of 200, how much marks you have to score to uh, qualify. But because of this percentile, now we cannot actually have a clear idea about what is the uh, maximum mark scored or what should be your target for clearing CSIR exam now this percentile how it is calculated nta is completely transparent on the calculation here and they have given the uh, formula also so total percentile will be equal to 100 multiplied with number of candidates who appeared in that particular session that have scored marks equal to or less than your raw score divided by total number of cap candidates appeared in the session Okay, and now the exam, uh, like after the exam, uh, exam is done, the result is taken out. So first in the result, uh, uh, when the result is released, first you get to know about your raw score. Okay, and later that raw score, raw score is normalized into percentile and then the cutoff comes out. Okay, so you may, like just be, uh, when you get your raw score, you cannot determine. Uh, yeah, definitely. If you have very high raw score, then for sure you have qualified or else like you have to basically wait for the cut off to come out when the score gets converted into percentile then only you will be able to know whether you have qualified or not but ideally like if we see the pa previous pattern so around 60 percent should be your target uh, trend number three is the applicant string okay that is the number of applicants which have who have appeared in the exam so uh 2018, if we see like before pandemic, around 65,000 to 70,000 applicants approximately appeared in the exam. Okay. Whereas if when we see 2023, like last five years, okay, five years back, the number of applicants were this much. But in five years, in 2023, there were 80,000 applicants in the June exam and 75,000 applicants in the December exam. So definitely you can see that there has been an increase in the number of applicants over the years okay and increase in the number of applicants means more competition so that is what you have to be ready for like every session competition is increasing coming to trend number four cutoff okay so as i was telling you about the percentile um, conversion now coming to the cutoff so in 2021, like if we see some, if we compare, I, I compared some back data. So in 2021, CSI net cutoff for life science was this much percentile for GR. Okay, definitely for the general uh, category. Now, as I told you in the percentile marks also, that uh, in CSIR, the marks will be calculated to seven decimal points. Okay, so to make sure that none of the two candidates have got the exact same marks. 2022 CSI net life science cutoff was this much. So you can see there is an increase. Okay. So 98.78 to 98.81. And in 2023 December cutoff increased to 99.21. All right. So as I was, so uh, this is all percentile. Okay. This is not percentage. Again, these are all, so these marks which are given are in percentile. Okay, the relative scoring. Okay, so as you can see, there has been an upward trend. Okay, with every passing session, cutoff is increasing. So if the cutoff is increasing, means exam pattern is 
like uh, the exam is becoming difficult and more competitive. Now coming to exam difficulty. Now exam difficulty, the like the net exam difficulty if you see, CSIR maintains an exam difficulty of mild to moderate. Okay, but mostly it is in the moderate range. Okay, the questions which will come will be mostly in the moderate range. Definitely 10 to 15 percent of the questions will be uh, difficult and will be tricky. But then you have to understand, you have to develop a habit to know which one to skip and which one to do. Okay, so all the questions in part C will have four marks. It doesn't matter you are taking the difficult ones or the easy ones. You are going to get four marks if you are correct. If you are going to get a negative marking of one if you are wrong. Okay, so you have to be very smart in picking the questions that you are answering. So mostly the exam level is moderate. But what has changed now is more in-depth subject knowledge is required. Now, in more in-depth subject knowledge means uh, nowadays uh, questions are coming from research papers also. So, you have to have a habit of reading through some of the topics from the recent research which is going on. Like in case of recombinant DNA technology or in case of CRISPR which is creating such a buzz right now. CRISPR and how it is getting used in some of the treatment of genetic diseases. So, this uh, knowledge you need to have. Along with that, you also have to develop a broader perspective where you can combine between the different topics, okay? Because more and more we are seeing questions are coming where combination of two or more concepts are required. Now, those concepts may belong to the same unit or it can be from different units as well. So, it is very important now to have a holistic approach towards the concepts that you are studying in CSI paper and that will come when you are going in depth. No more superficial will help you. Coming to the unit wise weightage, uh, um, weightage in the exam, so it has remained almost same, unit 1, unit 2, 3, 4, uh, then uh, 6, uh, then uh, 10, 8 uh, and um, 13, these are the units which are still important and these are the units that you cannot skip at all. So it has remained almost same, although there has been uh, more questions coming from the biotechnology section that is unit 12 okay so earlier unit 12 could be easily skipped because barely two or three questions used to come but nowadays like last five years trend if we see and especially after pandemic more questions are coming from biotechnology section okay that is unit 12 and not only unit 12 unit 12 combined with other units okay so as i told you you have to develop a holistic approach, okay? Like suppose in biotechnology, you have created um, a particular uh, plant variety where you have used RNA interference, right? Now, with RNA interference, you have stopped the expression of a particular uh, protein. But how, what is RNA interference? Where is, how is it working? What is DICER? What is RIS? So that concept will come from unit 3. Okay, so this kind of questions where it is combining the concepts and its application are becoming very common. Okay, now coming to trend number seven, which is post exam qualification and uh, career paths. So earlier we know like CSIR exam, blindly you can go for academics. The people who will apply in CSIR exam will either be interested in academics or research okay but now this trend has changed and no longer it is limited to academics and research so post exam qualification what are the newer career paths that you can take first is you can choose uh, you can choose and make a career in science communication and science uh, policy okay now what exactly it is so you can work with media outlets ngos or even government agencies to explain complex scientific concepts okay you can also work in government organization and help the government in making uh, policies uh, regarding science okay so this is a career path that you can take after finishing your phd through csir net second career path that you can take is uh, science entrepreneurship and biotech startups uh, so, you can leverage your research expertise to develop innovative products or services in the life science field. Another uh, 
career path that you can took uh, that you can take is in science editing and medical writing uh, so you have to ensure that scientific accuracy and clarity in research papers grant proposals or medical publications uh, now this is a kind of job which is also work uh, also offering work from home facility okay so if you have uh, the constraints after finishing your uh, phd if you are joining science editing and medical writing you also get an opportunity to work from home as well so you don't have to break uh, take a break from your career and you can continue you can also join forensic science and science in law enforcement where you can apply your knowledge of biology especially and genetics to solve crimes by analyzing dna evidences toxins or investigating bioterrorism threats and and one of the most foremost and uh, you can say the most developing uh, uh, field right now is data science and bioinformatics so data science is creating a buzz in all the fields okay and definitely life science is also not untouched by it so data science and bioinformatics right now is rapidly growing field uh, which leverages computational tools to analyze bi biological data so after finishing your research you can definitely uh, do more uh, growth and you can join companies in uh, by working in this field of data science so that's all from me uh, today everyone and i tr i try to give you an idea about the latest trends seven latest trends that are uh, uh, there in csir net exam i hope you find the video uh, uh, helpful and please like and subscribe to biotechnica's youtube channel and in case you uh, want uh, us to make videos or shorts in any topic please let us know in the comment box thank you everyone have a great day